The federal government is up and running for now. A shutdown was averted earlier this evening as both sides agreed on legislation to fund the federal government for the next 45 days. So we spoke to a TSA worker who would not have been paid during this shutdown. So while he's relieved tonight, he says he's frustrated and fed up with their livelihoods always being dragged into politics. Marissa Sarbeck is live with more. Marissa, sounds like he's about had it. You are not kidding, Linda. And talk about the 11th hour. This passed the House 335 to 91, and then the Senate 88 to 9. President Joe Biden signed it late this evening. Now, non-essential government programs would have been paused. Thousands of federal employees would be furloughed. The local TSA representative we spoke with says he is thankful it didn't come to that. Stresses a lot of people out. It's like, okay, well, it's going to happen in 45 days. Congress passing a short term funding bill that includes $16 billion in domestic disaster relief, but does not include additional assistance to Ukraine. The bill allows the federal government to continue operating until November 17th, including TSA agents who fall in the same category as military members and critical medical personnel during a government shutdown, which means they are required to continue working without their paychecks. They get back pay when the government reopens. For people that literally live paycheck to paycheck, just one delay of a paycheck can be detrimental. Agents in every airport in Arizona would have been affected in Phoenix, Bullhead City, Page, Prescott, Flagstaff, Sholo, Mesa, Tucson, and Yuma. They are now breathing a sigh of relief. Jovan Petkovic says this late night decision was giving him flashbacks to the historic 35 day government shutdown that kicked off 2019 when his fellow TSA agents were facing tough decisions. He had to make the choice of go to work or stay home and save the money that he has in order to make sure that he was able to purchase medicine because he had great co-pays for his sick child because his child was chronically sick. A choice he's grateful they can avoid this time around, at least until this short-term funding bill runs out mid-November. What do you tell a father of a child in that situation? Our Arizona senators were not part of the nine votes to stop the short-term funding bill.